Good morning. Welcome back to the farm. We have a neighbor that grows a sizable part of their own food and they use the same varieties that they do during the spring. Now, in the fall, which is what I'm referring to now, is a completely different growing environment. It's going to be 100 degrees when you germinate your seeds, whether that be direct seed or whether you do it somewhere else. Ours in the germination chamber is not really a problem. We'll bring them up that way. But using the same seed under completely different growing conditions can be problematic. Now, sometimes it works. Some varieties are very versatile and you can do that. Some varieties though, not so much. Today I wanna to talk about lettuce. We grow a sizable amount of our lettuce in the winter time and in the spring and the fall. So we have three flats of lettuce that we're gonna look at and I will show you what's happened. We have gone through a heat wave of when the heat indices are in the 130s. It is extremely dangerous here in the south. You know, it was 100 plus degrees Fahrenheit plus 80% uh, humidity. So let's look at some varieties of lettuce and see how they fared. All three of these lettuce varieties were planted exactly at the same time. Matter of fact, I made a video about a couple of them, but they will show you the differences as they've come about. They had almost 100% germination at that time, but during the hardening off process, the weather's taken its toll on a couple of them. Let's look. This is Butter Crunch, and it is a nice lettuce, but as you can see, we lost some in the one particular area right about here. Again, this gets direct sun sometimes during the day, and then we're in indirect sun the rest of the day. Let's look at our next variety. This variety is Coastal Star Romaine. Now, this probably had the worst effect as far as heat goes on the lettuce. We had a hard time keeping this stuff upright. It kept trying to keel over in the heat. Now, if you look back towards the back, we lost a good bit of it in the hardening off process. So. What we have basically are two varieties with mixed results, starting in cool, the way exactly the way they're supposed to start, and then with extreme heat. This is our third variety. This is Cherokee. This has fared the best. Now Cherokee is a multi uh, versatile, very versatile lettuce, which will grow in the spring and the fall. It takes hot and cold. It's a red romaine, and as you can see, it looks pretty darn good. Your seed varieties in the fall are usually different than what you can use in the spring. In the spring, you're dealing with cooler temperatures and they're gonna stay cool for some time, generally prior to harvest. But in the fall, you don't know what you're gonna get. So when you gener germinate your seeds and they come up, however you do that, whether direct seed or in a chamber, you have to allow for different varieties. So I hope you're keeping a log. The, far go the fall garden is by far one of the most important things we do around here. We grow more produce in the fall, early winter, and sometimes all the way through the winter, depending on how much weather, bad weather we get. So it's a key thing. So the seed varieties we use are a big deal. So when you go to Walmart, know what you're going to get. Go to the reputable seed people. They'll tell you, give you an idea what's gonna grow well in the fall, but I highly suggest keeping a spreadsheet, a log, something that ensures that you get the right variety for whatever weather condition you're anticipating. This year we're anticipating some real winter, so we'll see what happens. But the varieties that we've chosen will probably get us there. These flats are lettuce and broccoli. The broccoli's doing pretty well. Anticipating some good stuff. Until next time. I'll see you from right here, down at the barn.